Hey everyone. So imagine on a page I have this link and this link is formed with a href that has a mail to protocol. So it's not a regular HTML link. It's the link that should send an email by opening an email program on your machine or on my machine. So if I click on this, right, my Mac wants to open my mail an application that's stretched to the operating system. I don't have anything, so it doesn't really go anywhere. On CI, it would just hang the test. So what we want to do is prevent the click at all. Like we don't want to test it by clicking right here. It's not going to work. So what will we do instead? Well, the one thing you have to realize is that this is all standard, right? So as long as your href is formed correctly, your operating system probably does the right thing by sending the email. If it's broken, there is no way you can test it because then you cannot trust anything outside of a browser page. So instead of trying to click and see the email is sent, why don't you just verify the href itself? So we can grab the element. This is an anchor link with ID sent, and we can say should have attribute href uh, because we didn't provide a value for href the assertion will yield the value of this link so we can say uh, should be a string because now we're working with actual value uh, of this link right that has the email and it's mailed to nowhere and so on what i would like to do now is to actually parse that link and I've written a little function that you can find right here. Let me just remove the comments so the syntax highlighting shows. So we're going to split this link, right, by question mark. What you will find on the left at all is the email of the recipient. And what you write on the right, you'll find parameters. And I'm parsing the parameters and decoding each one because they are URL encoded. So we can take this string and run it through parse mail to function and let's say then console log so we can see what's happening so this yields right body recipient subject and what you want to do now is confirm that those things are correct and as expected should deep equal and then those three things comma comma okay that's it so this is how I would confirm that my mail to href link is correct.